Hey guys, it's me, Gugex. It's been a while since I made a new video, so I was thinking about just playing on some random survival servers with different game types, and I will start off with New Liberty Horde version, um, which is a survival game uh, where you defend yourself and your teammates against waves of zombies and the go only goal is to stay alive as long as possible. And while killing zombies you get XP and can get new ranks and get new start kits and stuff like that. So I will just begin and cut off when I'm in a game. And I think I will start with Cold Dead Hordes. And I am... Level 48 right now. Untouchable. So I can choose between these start kits. This is the basic one default. You only start with a sword and cook pork shop. Ranger, get bow and arrow. And fighter, you get a lady chest plate to begin with. And you have less arrows, and I have unlocked survival, uh, untouchable. So I begin with all of these things. So let's, and you just click the iron to join the game. And if you don't, you will get kicked off when the time is up. <laughs> And you get loot from all the chests, so that's the major thing to get good stuff. And you you get gold for killing zombies, and you use them in the shop, which I will show you right now, actually. You can buy different weapons, you can buy iron to make armor, you can buy potions, and you can buy protection like iron columns. And to purchase, you hold gold and right click on what you want to purchase. So I just bought iron to make iron armor when I get enough. Um, hopefully it will be more action soon. Uh -huh. There will spawn more zombies because it's now it's pretty boring. And I got three iron ingots from there. Pretty good loot. And you get about 5 XP for killing each zombie, so I need to kill 20 zombies to gain 100 XP if no one else steals my XP. Like you, can, you can pick up each other's XP and stuff, even if that's not that nice to kill us. And there I fell through for some reason, I don't know why. Um, okay, let's take the only chest I haven't taken yet. Okay, wave 7. Um, oh. The longest time I survived is wave 42, but that's because of the boss in level 40, which we haven't killed yet. So he's still alive when the wave 42 began, and he was the one who killed me and my teammate. Um, so yeah. I could make iron boots now, but I don't want to. And it's a, co it's a cooldown on all yet, so you can't just run around and take them all the time. So th this is a pretty good game type, it's, if you're bored it's really fun. Oh crap, pigments are like level 2 zombies you can see, because they give you off often nausea and blindness, and they take more damage, or deal more damage than usual zombies, but they do, they have less health as well, so they are easier to kill when you hit them. But if they spawn upon you, you're pretty much dead. 
which is the hard part in this game. And the level 40 boss fight, it's a pigman which could survive like 7-8 hits with a diamond sword and several hits from iron sword as well, so that's a pretty tough boss. And there I got almost killed. So that's, that's the hard part when stuff just spawn upon you. Um, if this will be like totally meaningless for some minutes, I'll probably just speed it up until something more amusing happens. I guess I've recorded for like 6-7 minutes now, maybe. And I can make pants. Since I only have, uh, since I only already have a leather chest plate, I make pants instead. Even if the iron chest plate protects the more. Once I get to 20 gold, I will buy an iron sword instead. And uh, I can do that now. So, iron sword. And you better save the stone sword, because that won't. The, the stone sword is forever. But the swords you purchase aren't. Now it will begin to be a much harder wave 19. Way harder than. Okay, 17 seconds. So, inside, I can probably take all of the other ones. There was a song the pigment. And there is. Oh crap. That was close. And only I land some arrows. And it seems like all of my teammates have died except this guy. So I guess I won't last much. Okay, there's one guy more. Let's try to kill these guys and try to run down, take the chest, and quickly turn on and run up. Grab the chest. Nope. Now oh, wait. Right. Oh, five iron. Not bad. Not bad at all. Back on the Okay. I killed the pigment with one hit and that died by full damage. And now I will be dead because this zombie so pigment will kill me in two minutes. Oh crap. And I can't see anything. More or less. Okay, crap, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh god. Yeah, I'm dead. I have no chance of surviving now. And stuff will probably just spawn randomly upon me now. Try to jump past those guys and buy like potions, crap, or maybe a zombie go uh, golem. golem. I don't know what I mean. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh crap! I just killed it. That wasn't smart at all. Um, yeah, this was quite a fail. 
I think I showed off the server anyway. So next time I'll probably play in fiction. Okay, grab the iron! Okay, no. May not. Just run is dead. Okay, health potion. So if I throw this, I can take damage on them and save my life. Hopefully. Oh crap, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah. And there I died. Crap. Well, that was fun for a while. And I gained one level, I think. But I still a long way to go for the next rank. Yeah, well, the ranks are noob. What you get, yeah, well, default rank, dead meat, start rank. When you level to 15, you can buy still live rank. And survivalist at level 30 and 45, you get untouchable, which I have now. And next is 80, so I need 31 more levels for that, and that will take some time. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.